Return to the Garden of Eden. A United Federation of Planets production. Return to the Garden of Eden is a documentary that will be presented by Ian at the Theosophical Society in Auckland Park, 31 Streetly Avenue, on Sunday, 10 a.m. on the 9th of May. All are welcome to attend the amazing and exciting presentation on reuniting with the Divine. Eden exists within every soul that is united with God. The Arcanum, the secret doctrine. Throughout the history of humanity, only the elect few were initiated into the great Arcanum, the mysteries of the great secret universal truth. hidden in the silent faces of Egyptian monuments. Under the gaze of the Vedic gods. Between the lines of the old books of alchemy and tantalizing us from the myths of the Aztecs and the Mayans the essence of the secret doctrine has always been there. Only the elect few were initiated into the mysteries of the great universal truth. The force that powers all creation on all levels of existence is the sexual energy of Jehovah Elohim. The universal truth of the great arcanum can be found in all religions and ancient traditions. The path. All religions are special jewels on the golden string of divinity. We are all on a path back to our connection with the divine. This path is represented by the tree of knowledge, the knowledge of sex, and the clue to entering into the direct experience with God can be found by understanding the symbol of the dualistic tree of knowledge of good and evil. The tree of life symbolizes the structure of the soul and the structure of creation. Its roots are in the highest realms and its branches and leaves are all the worlds and the many beings that exist. The Sephirot, known as Darth, Dahat or Gnosis, is the science of the great Arcanum, that secret knowledge which has been hidden from humanity for ages. Hence the tree of knowledge is a direct reference to sexuality. What then is the purpose of this reference to sex and its role in the fate of Adam and Eve? We will look at the androgynous origins of man. Before we were male and female, we were androgynous. Eden is symbolic of the innocence and happiness that was once the natural state of humanity. The humanity of Eden was pure. Humanity only knew goodness and virtue. Esoteric wisdom states that Adam was placed in the fourth dimension, the world of vital energy, 
Yesod, or foundation. The Garden of Eden is located in the fourth dimension, realm. When Adam fell, he fell into the third dimension of this current physical realm of duality called Malkuth or Kingdom. The human hermaphrodite was separated into two sexes, male and female, so that they may see themselves better, to know themselves. Since the time of separation, man and woman sought to reclaim their missing unity, which is the root of the craving for sexual unity. The male and female serpentine kundalini energies that intertwine the spine. Adam and Eve as polarized energy are represented by the ancient symbol of the caduceus. Tempted by the serpent, human beings chose to procreate of their own will. In their innocence, however, they did not realize that the laws of abstinence that were given were for their own good. Learning to procreate without the guidance of Elohim led to the discovery of the orgasm. Man is the active force, the reflection of God the Father. Woman is the receptive force, the reflection of God the Mother and sex is the force that brings them together. The Trinity, the three forces of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The Trinity is a unity of three, three that express as one. Tremendous energy is harnessed in the sexual act between a man and a woman. When we expel the sexual energy, we expel the energy that fuels our inner senses, that connects us to the divine. Sexual energy is symbolized by water. Sexual energy is symbolized by light. At the time of Adam and Eve, sex was only practiced in the temples under the guidance of the Elohim. Husband joined wife in the sexual act according to the laws given to them by Jehovah Elohim. The wasteful expulsion of energy of semen during orgasm was not and is not required to create a child. They abused the sexual energy of their own bodies by having the orgasm. The orgasm is symbolized in the poisoned apple given to Snow White. While sweet to the taste of the physical senses, it is poison to the soul. A humanity that knew only goodness ate of the forbidden fruit and discovered animal desire, which always leads to suffering and pain. And Jehovah Elohim said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. Desire caused all the gods to fall from their places, and it is desire that leads all creatures to hell. The tempting aspect of the serpent is Lucifer, the enemy. 
because shaitan, the enemy, is a fiery serpent that is ignited and powered through the sexual act, it is always tempting mankind to know and to have the sexual connection. The tree is a symbol of the constitution of man and the tree is a map of the entire cosmos at the heart of every great mystical and religious tradition persists a secret universal truth the great arcanum the secret doctrine this presentation will be held on Sunday the 9th of May at 10 a.m. in Auckland Park, 31 Streetly Avenue at the Theosophical Society of Johannesburg. This same presentation will also be held in Pretoria on Sunday the 8th of August at 6 p.m. at 55 Mankeys Street at the Theosophical Society of Pretoria. Return to the Garden of Eden, a United Federation of Planets production.